the perk jersey that was while you were still at market no 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 that was uh, uh that was about like six months after but that oh, was man. the first product that i ever like re- that, that i personally released that went viral and i got like full like i got you know 70 or 80 percent of the money out of right you know what i mean what what uh so what you had to give house phone a percentage well well here's the thing so and like the designer or or no who, who'd you give it to uh i does so i gave it so i'm the one who designed it but uh it was house phone in it and it was also base savage shout out to base savage oh, right 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 the twitter lord so at this point mine and house phones twitters are deleted we're, we're sampling this uh this jersey why'd you get deleted um, I told like a bitch to shut up one day. And you know what Jeez. sucks? And is, you got deleted forever. Yeah, and and I tried I tried appealing like, listen, guys, this is a business account. You can check my 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 record. I don't talk like this. So I was just hot one day. They really deleted but me. But like, bitch, shut up. So, yeah, Alondo. Jesus. Yeah, I think it was something along the lines of like men should pay for everything or you know, so. Elon buy Twitter and, and give his his fucking account back this and house crazy. phone. Yeah. So so God what, damn. yeah so what happened was House Phone leaks it on his fucking on his Instagram story like he does all the everything, <laughs> and uh, someone screenshotted it within five minutes after me telling him delete it. It goes viral on Twitter through Bay Savage. He said Paris Fashion Week or mm. Atlanta Fashion Week posted it, <laughs> thousands of likes. My homie's in the car with me. He's like, Yo, bro, uh, check out this fucking jersey. It's funny. Right. And I'm like, This just fucking mine. What's going on? Yeah. And I call Bay Savage because he's the first one ever paying me for a hundred dollars. Like I've been knowing him since like 2016. Like right. he, he he's the fuck with me on cover art so i call him like look bro this is my jersey but there's money to be made look i'm gonna drop these on monday i need you to put this shit on your twitter and tell everybody yo come shop with me it's on my site now right and he did that and you know it helped propel it, it I, th- I think he I this think, whole time i thought you were talking about base jesus <laughs> am i talking, talking about, about base base jesus with the jesus fucking uh avatar no not no, not him no 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 no, oh, no. base savage that would different dude i think it would have went crazier with base jesus now nah, but shout <laughs> to base savage for show but uh, he he posted it and then like I called him he was totally understanding and you know I think I think just off the tweet you Wait, know did Bats, base savage got deleted yeah oh, you, yeah, you, you didn't did. see like all the shit dude he was on CNN I was thinking I'm like why haven't I seen this guy he was on, on CNN forever. he was on the FBI all that shit for, for what uh, he said I'd rather smoke crack than serve my country and it went on <laughs> it went crazy online why would the fucking it went on CNN there's but why would he get investigated over that I don't know it's a fucking joke I mean they don't got shit going on at those offices but uh, uh he I don't want to serve my country either he went on CNN twice he he made like a, a I think when there was like bombings in the Middle East like six months ago he he, he said something along the lines of like oh that's Lizzo and then he he ended up on on CNN again what the fuck there's someone at CNN following Bay Savage which is crazy because they probably saw the Perk jersey that's crazy no because with base jesus back in the day i got a fucking ethel wolf collab with on some shit and we fucking had base jesus like promote the contest we did like a oh, contest wow. and i think i got like a couple thousand followers back when i had like yeah ten thousand followers no, the or meme some pages shit, be geeked. coming through they are important to tap in with that's that's networking yeah exactly people but, talk about going to fucking soho houses networking that shit's lame meme fuck. pages are real network oh god man fuck everybody there but but check it out man like he he posted it on a friday it went viral by monday we're selling this shit and i put it on my site like 12 hours before i was actually supposed to drop it i'm mm. like let me see who clicks it i wake up at like noon the next day and it's like 20 bands in my account and i was like what the fuck like prior to that i, mean, I probably made like you know a thousand dollars in a day or something like that and you weren't worried about having to get them made you already knew you were. Well, able that's to the get scary part. I, I, I was still like, I, I was still running my brand very stupid. I only had the sample, and I'm like, um, this is an eighty to eight dollar item. Let me put it on there for that. And uh, I went to downtown later on that week, and I find out like, no, nah, they're, they're trying to charge me like forty fifty. And I'm like, Whoa. there ain't really. I ended up selling around like five hundred. I'm like, there, there ain't really too much money if I'm selling for forty. I had somebody who had me out with the manufacturing, found somebody in Pakistan doing for six dollars, and oh, wow. I profited crazy off of How those. How long did it take you to get them? Like four or five months for show. So people didn't get their orders for that long. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to Instagram Streetwear. Were they pissed? (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Everybody's pissed. You know, they were trying to ask pizza you. I I was ass pizza in them. (laughs) They were like, they were like, oh, Blazzy got us. I'm like, yeah, sure, sure. Nah, nah. I ended up shipping them though, but. uh, no, that that project alone, I mean, like Housemo got upset too, because we, uh, uh, I broke off like Bay Savage maybe a little bit too much. Right, I, I got a little bit too like excited over the phone with him, I'm like, bro, I'll give you ten percent. Well, Fuck it. Especially considering that you fucking got Juice World to promote it. Did did that move the needle like crazy or? Yes, yes. Well, Juice World and OGZ, like oh, OGZ, yeah, too, right, like right. he he tagged me and all this shit, 
Wow. And like we made up with him at a uh, that day in Vegas. That oh, I seen him there, and he, well, he was wearing it there, Bro, right? It was so crazy because like House Phone's like, "Yo, I'm battling with Sean," and I and I met him. Watch at that the point. No Jumper vlog from that festival, and you'll see me kicking it with OGZ, who I would objectively say is on ecstasy in that clip. Oh, he was for show off <laughs> ecstasy. So like House Phone's like, "Bro, come with me. We're gonna meet. We're gonna meet uh, Shoreline. The, the, we, let's get him some jerseys." We go to like the exclusive side of the backstage. Okay, you know what I mean? Where it's like little baby and fucking Playboy Cardi and shit, and, and they're mm. little like and. and their, uh, in, in their area and we go in there he fucks with it Every, everything's all good he shows love 20 minutes later I'm, I'm just at the cafeteria and I hear like bands go off during Lil Tecca's set I step out I'm like he's wearing my fucking jersey wow. I go rush and record a video it, it was a good weekend but he tagged me after that Juice World posted it um and we we did like a, a Black Friday restock and we sold out again oh, you know wow. but that was the last time we ever sold until this day it's like Oh my God! They're all over TikTok. It's all mm. over Instagram, Amazon. But I don't how's even that give feel? Because you feel like that kind of hurts your brand to have this bootleg version of no. it that's being sold everywhere, and probably a lot of people think that it's yours when they see it out. I, I think I think people nowadays when they see a perk, they don't even think about Blazzy. They just think mm. about oh, <laughs> perks, you know, <laughs> and yeah. like. It, I, I felt really guilty bringing that shit into the world, bro. Yeah, because I was at, ask about that. at that point, and I mean, even still to this day, I might have taken like three, five perks my whole life. Mm. I, I It's not for me. I hated it. I haven't tried one in like two years. But when I made that jersey, I didn't know what perks were. You know, I thought it was just a stupid internet joke. You know what I mean? Then all your friends start dropping like flies from that shit. Mm. And I had people overdose in my apartment off of fucking perks. And that shit broke my heart. You know overdose I mean? like died or overdose yeah. like went to the hospital. Well, well, check it out. He overdosed. We're over here slapping them and shit. Shout out to Cam Girl. She was like, guys, I think he's overdosing. And we're here like, fuck, is someone going to die in my crib? This is crazy. And uh, uh, we tried. This is, some, this is my homie from like from back where I'm from who who had just done jail for like fucking a year for like breaking into someone's home Whoa. and he's already a week later overdosing in my crib I you know we, we bring it to the front yard uh, we're on the phone with 911 I'm doing mouth to mouth uh resuscitation whatever the fuck you call it and uh um he's not re not like being receptive all our homies are crying and shit like that we we think he's dead. The uh the paramedics come and just Narcan his ass, just fucking wakes up. Where am I? You know what I mean? And I had to tell him like bro. The I paramedics can't. just jammed him in the chest with that shit yeah. and he woke up. Pulp, pulp fiction stuff. The Narcan's that good. Yeah. It just brings you back to life. The Narcan be smacking. But wow. uh yeah, he came back and uh um I had to draw him out to the fucking hospital. I'm like, bro, like, you know, I, I I can't I can't be dealing with that shit anymore. And like ironically enough, well sad enough, the 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 same batch that he bought that uh, those perks from, our other homie ended up dying, but he didn't have those friends around him that night to, to, to check him and Oh, so they were fake perks? Oh yeah, I mean ninety five percent of this shit's fake perks, bro. That's why like I'm so big on the say no offend not movement, just because that's the crack of of our generation. Yeah. Like I truly feel that way. It's it's the same way people were like glamorizing how how sick it is. You know what I mean? And it's like kids kids don't know there's a two dollar and a ten dollar or thirty dollar pill you right. know what i mean as long as they call them blues now because they know it's fentanyl they don't even call them perks right They're like oh i want some blues that's crazy i mean really like i had the luxury of my time taking xanax was mostly a time period where you really yeah. didn't hear about that happening oh, that yeah. much then it happens to peep and then we all start to kind of like understand like oh shit like he thought that he was taking a xan it was fucking fentanyl in it and that's how that went you down. You want to know something really we, we really didn't know until then. Can I tell you something about a uh, little peep situation? Yeah. Um the do you, I'm I'm not sure you remember but his last tweet, one of his last tweets was like free my biggest fan Nick Bonds. Yeah. Something along to that extent. That kid bought a perk jersey off of me 3 months late, sorry, like a couple years later and uh, I go on FaceTime with him for like 2 hours, starts telling me how the how, how the Rolling Stones interviewed him. And I'm not sure if it was his sister. Yeah. Yeah, for that Peep article. Right? Exactly. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was his sister or his cousin, but he knew the girl that everyone was framing. I was like, oh, that's that's the girl who killed right, him. Yeah. She ended up overdosing or like committing suicide like not too long after that. And I don't even, I, I, I feel like I heard that it wasn't really her that was responsible for it. Well, he told, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm breaking news, but he told me that like, you know, when, when he left, he, he checked in with Magnet and everybody was like, yo, guys, like he's not doing his best. Like he said that they were just dabbing Peep out and he was talking about how, how much he loved his outfits. I have like a 10 minute video recorded on my phone of just like our conversation wow. in like 2020. I, I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? But Had, uh, had you even thought about the moral implication of making a Percocet journey, jersey before you did it or no, you just thought about I, it afterwards? Just like the rest of Twitter and Instagram, we all thought it was a joke. We yeah. all, oh, this is me off of Perk 30. This is, you know, when the 30 hits, you know, everyone thinks it's funny, but like, 
like I said, like I think like right after that, I say probably lost like five, six friends from just like fentanyl all overdoses, like wow. like death, you know, not just necessarily overdose, but like they died. Right. You know what I mean? And then I just, you know, then then people start smoking them, and then you realize this shit is really really bad. You know, that's just ugly. Yeah. Was there a time point period where you like really kind of had to go out of your way to separate yourself from people who were doing no, drugs? No. No. My whole life, like, um, not my whole life. I, I was around some rusty, crusty people and middle school high school but like uh as an adult uh no i don't really like surround myself with too many like druggies you know what i mean i, I have my homies you feel me like we'll link up on a saturday but like mm. i'm not i'm not really around that and around then those are just the loose end homies that like just so happen to do that shit but like i don't like i i get disgusted you know I, everyone got their demons and i don't judge people for doing perks if they have no choice you know they're addicted but like mm. i can't have those people around me right yeah i really look at them as like sick well, people now you know it, it, and i don't want to like drug shame anybody but they're, yeah. they're kind of hard to trust yeah they're, they're really they're really untrustworthy because they they realize that they've gone to they've sunk into a place where like their their honesty is the only thing they have so they're gonna lie their ass off to see if they could sell you on like i'm clean dude you know and i just don't i'm starting to be able to like pick up on like these perk head lies and shit more and more okay guys we want to thank you so so much for getting us to a hundred thousand subscribers right here on the clips channel if you want to support please click that subscribe button we're trying to get to 200k thank you thank you so much